Nerves and Bezier curves are what are known as parametric curves. And in this lesson, we're going to start to break down what that means. I'll start by drawing another curve using breakpoints. So I'll drop down a curve node in this geometry network and I'll change my primitive type to nerves and the method to breakpoints. And now I'll just click to drop down a few points to draw a simple S-shaped curve in this front view. The reason that NURBS and Bezier curves are referred to as parametric curves is because they're defined not only by point positions in 3D space, but also by parameters which exist on the surface of the curve. If we define a curve by simply plotting points in space and then connecting them, we get straight line connections between those points which is exactly what we get with a polygon curve. With a NURBS curve though, there's some other variable at play, which causes the curve to take the path it does from one breakpoint to another. That second variable is what's known as a parameter, and simply put, it's the coordinate of each breakpoint along the curve. The relative distance between the breakpoints in what's called parametric space is what controls the interpolation of the curve between the breakpoints. When we're working with NURBS and Bezier curves, we're working with two coordinate spaces. We have the 3D world space, or in this case the object space because we're inside a geometry container, and we have the parametric space, which is the local coordinate space of the curve. So let's visualize what this curve looks like in parametric space. I've made a visualizer asset here, and I'll wire the output of my curve node into this first input and set the display flag to it. And if I move this slider in the parameters, we can see the curve flattening out into a straight line. And this straight line is the parametric space of the curve. The parametric space of a curve is a one-dimensional space which represents the length of the curve from start to finish. This single dimension of a curve is what's known as the U-dimension. Whereas 3D space is infinite, it just goes on and on, Parametric space is finite, it has a defined start and end, and that finite space is simply the start and end of the curve. The parametric space of a curve is also known as the domain, or the domain space of a curve. Now, I'm representing this domain on a 0 to 1 scale, but the size of the domain doesn't necessarily go from 0 to 1. It could, and does in some cases, go from 0 to a much higher value. What you'll find though is that most of the tools that operate on NURBS and Bezier curves have parameters which function within the 0 to 1 range because we're really working with a percentage distance along that curve. I've got a slider here where I can specify a U coordinate or in other words a coordinate along the length of the curve. As I increase this U coordinate value we see that the marker travels along the curve and we see a second marker representing that value in parametric space at the same time. At a value of zero, the marker's at the very beginning of the curve, and at a value of one, it's at the very end of the curve. At a value of 0.5, we're at exactly 50% along the length of the curve. So when we talk about a parameter value on a parametric curve, we're simply talking about a coordinate along the length of that curve. These breakpoints, which are also commonly referred to as knots, have a parameter stored on them. If I just increase the font size in this visualizer, we can read those parameter values. The parameter is simply the coordinate of whereabouts along the curve in parametric space that breakpoint is. When we talk about breakpoints in parametric space, we tend to refer to them as knots. And when we're talking about them in 3D space, we tend to refer to them as breakpoints. So that's what I'll continue to do. We can see from these values that the knots are evenly distributed along the length of the curve. And that's because the knot positions have been calculated using the uniform parameterization method. Different parameterization methods calculate different coordinate positions for these knots. And it's the relative distance between these knots in parametric space which affects how the curve interpolates between the breakpoints in 3D space. We're going to continue to unpack this concept of parametric space and learn how these different parameterization methods work over the next couple of lessons.